everybody, he here, I got a package. Happy Joe Hill release day. Let's get into this Joker. Ah. This is Joe Hill's second short story collection. This is full throttle. Um, this video is going to be very quick. I just want to throw this up like I do with the Stephen King books when I get those in. Um, so let's discuss down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you've got this one, whether or not you're going to read this one. Let's make this a Joe Hill thread. Um, I will say as a quickie review, I have read every single story in this collection. Um, most of them before, long before um, this was ever even announced because most of them were sold as ebook singles on Kindle. Um, I, actually, I think they were on uh, Nook and all the rest of that too. But uh, this one isn't as good as 20th Century Ghosts. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. Um, the best part of this collection is the intro. Um, I, believe it, I believe the audiobook version is read by Hill himself. And if you have access to it, I certainly suggest listening to it instead of reading it. It is a good, it's a well-written intro. But I think you need to listen to it. Um, if it's not Joe Hill, it's someone with a very thick uh, northern accent. Uh, he sounds, whoever read it sounds like Stephen King, but with a, almost like a higher register. Anywho, this one, um, I, will, I will say some standout stories for me were uh, You Will Be Released or You Are Released, I think. I can't remember. It's the one that was in, uh, what's it called, Fight or Flight? No, Flight or Fright. Um, the, uh, the themed anthology from Cemetery Dance. But, uh, I enjoyed, I'm gonna go, the, the, by the silver waters of Lake Champlain, uh, You Are Released and In the Tall Grass are the, the good stories in here. Uh, the other ones are middling to just not that great. <laughs> um, but I would love to hear what you got either, if you guys want to talk about it, I'm going to do an actual review for it. This is just a release video. But if you guys want to talk about the book, keep spoilers out of it. Do all that down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been uh, the book mail unboxing thing. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Y'all still here? Yeah. All right, so I want to add something. Um, so I want to show you the rest of the book. Uh, da, 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 da. So I'm going to take this off because I just saw something that's really, really, really effing cool. So here's the full, here's the full dust jacket. That's not what I want to show you, but there's the full dust jacket. Okay, but check this out. Look, look at that snake. That is awesome. I am really liking what uh, William Morrow is doing with his books. Uh, I'm not... I'm not expecting to, oh, there is, there is stuff, like little pictures and whatnot. That's awesome. Um, in the Fireman, uh, they had like little specks of ash uh, on the pages. None of it blocked the text or anything, but it was really cool to see that. And there's really nice brown, beige, whatever, khaki end papers. That's nice. I like the production quality of the book, even if I don't love the book itself completely. Completely. It's, it's, it's okay, though.